What is going on, everyone? Okay, I decided from time to time I'm going to do these quick videos for tips and tricks of things that I thought maybe you would like to know. So no intro, no outro, no you know big rigmarole that I usually do, no 20-minute video. Um, today we are going to be talking about chain alignment. It was uh, requested by one of the viewers, and it was something I was going to get to anyway. I happened to be doing it, so I thought, you know what? No better time than now. So ideally, when you're aligning your rear gear with your clutch, I know this is a KT100. I know this is going to be different than your clone, um, if that's what you're running. Ideally, what you're going to get is something like this. I believe this was purchased from JC Specialties. This is a laser alignment tool. Now, the reason I'm not going to show you this in action is actually because my batteries are almost dead. <laughs> That's my fault. I can barely see the laser on it. I did align this already with the laser, but I had to really squint to get, uh, get a hold of where that was at. It takes three type of batteries. Now, here's another little trick here. If you take the three batteries and you put a piece of tape around them, it keeps them together. Then you would take you know, this roll of batteries, you put it in here, and then you're going to go ahead and put the cap on. Now, as you can see, my I don't, you can't even make out the laser on there. Batteries are quite dead. So using the laser alignment tool, you simply put it, and this doesn't matter if you have, have your, uh, your gear guard on or not, or like me, you're not running one. And then you're just going to point the laser at the gear on your cart. You know, it would be up here if it was a clone, but this happens jack shaft. So I'm pointing that, dead center. Okay, good to go. Nice, good alignment. Good alignment on your chain not only is going to keep you from throwing chains, but it's going to keep your rear gear and front gear intact. This is steel usually, so not so much here, but rear gears, they do wear out. They're aluminum, um, and they're not made of the good stuff anymore like uh, Hortzman used to make, uh, 775 I think it was. Anyway, a quick tip for at track is if you carry along a piece of angle aluminum, just like this. This is not straight. This is just something I was kicking around. It's it's the point of the thing. Not so much that I'm going to be able to do this for you, but you're going to want to butt this up against your gear. Okay. And obviously cone's going to have to be longer. You may have to, you know, make, cut this a little, you know, shallow to get it in there, whatever you have to do. But then you just take and you rotate your rear axle till it goes alongside the gear. All right. This looks good. Right. Another thing you can do in a quick pinch, you don't have an angle iron, you don't have your laser alignment tool, you don't have a piece of angle iron. What you can do is when you draw this, I'm going to put the chain on here real quick. Real quick as I stumble to put actually put it on the cart. All right. So, I think I got this too tight. Anyway. What you're going to do is you're going to look for the alignment on the rear gear here. So as you rotate the chain on the rear gear, it is going to look either like it's pushing on one side or pushing on the other. So in a pinch, you would be able to loosen this hub and move it one way or the other till you see this rotate dead center. You can also get behind it and look down to see, to get it you know, pretty much close enough. It's not ideal, but in a pinch at the track, if you have to look for where the teeth in the chain are running, are they rubbing to one side? Are they rubbing to the other? Are they running, you know, directly in line? So there you go, guys. Nice quick tip for today. I'll catch you later.